is Malika and welcome to Bite Size English, the bite-sized program with a whole lot of English. I love making lists. Actually, I make them every day. Sometimes I've got many things to do, from 10 to 15, but sometimes just 3 or 4. But I always arrange them in a certain order, by their importance or urgency. In this program, I'd like to talk to you about the ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers indicate an order or a position of something in a list of items. The definite article there normally goes in front of an ordinal number. Remember, there are three ordinal numbers that you just have to learn by heart. Let's start with the number which opens up our list. It's number one. I can easily say, one, I have to get up. Or I can also say, the first thing to do is to get up. So you see that the ordinal form of one is the first. Let's take another example. William is the first born in Charles and Diana's family. Henry was born two years after him. The firstborn means the first child born in a family. What goes next after the first item in our list? Yes, right, it's the second. I can say two, I have to brush my teeth. Or the second thing to do in the morning is to brush my teeth. So the ordinal form of two is the second. Now, let's have a look at my favorite bicycle racer. Alexander Vinokurov felt really tired halfway through the race. But when he saw the finish line, he got the second wind and sprinted to the end. The second wind is a return of energy that makes it possible to continue doing something really hard. The last ordinal number that you just have to remember is the third, which comes from three. For example, three is to have breakfast. Or the third thing to do is to have breakfast. Well, we've learned some ordinal numbers which are exceptions to the basic rule. Now listen to this basic rule. For most ordinal numbers, we use the ending th. So, for example, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the twentieth, the hundredth. But the twenty-first, the twenty-second, the twenty-third. So, let's review what we have learned today. Ordinal numbers indicate position of something in a list of items. The ordinal form of 1 is the first. The ordinal form of 2 is the second. The last ordinal number that you just have to remember is the third, which comes from 3. And don't forget that for most ordinal numbers, we use the ending th. So, for example, the fourth the fifth, the sixth. Now we know more about English ordinal numbers. Why not to be the first to like our web page at Bite Size English KZ on Facebook or vk.com? Thanks for being with us. See you. Bye.